What's up? It's Outdoor XP here with another tent review. I'll be reviewing the Mermont Tungsten Ultralight two-person tent. One of the most overlooked tents I feel like in the backpacking community. Let's get right into it. The first rule of thumb is clear the surrounding area where you want to set up your tent. Rule number one, check the ground first. For the people that feel like you should stake later, uh, it's not always the case when windy conditions, so be sure to clear your area first. Right now. Stakes. Feather light stakes. I'm talking about probably the lightest ones I've ever came across with the kit. I'll put a band-aid to help close it. So you got your stakes, you got your guide out cords. Look how little these bad boys are. These will definitely stay in there. These things are super small. You got your fabric, which is the first for me with a tent kit. Comes with every single color that is with the tent, so that's pretty cool. Whoop. Now, put that stuff back. Clip my stakes to me. Boom. There we go. So let's hop to the setup. Let's talk about the bag. It comes in real quick. It's um, oversized. Really easy to get back in there. You got your instructions and your um, all your um, safety and warnings and all that good jazz. Got your deck poles. Love deck poles. Unwrap them. Save the um, band, the band aids. Save the rubber bands. Here we go. All right. I love the color of this freaking tent. This color is awesome. I'm gonna hook these bags on the bottom of my tripod so they don't fly away. It is kind of windy, which it seems like I'm always doing this in the wind, but you can't avoid the wind. Here's my rain fly right here, and here's my canopy right here. Due to Due to the winds, guess what I'm going to do first? I'm going to stake it down first. All right. Let's make sure this is in the frame real good. Go. Let's stake out these bad boys real quick. 45 degree angle with your stakes. Now this Mermont is probably one of the biggest tents of this size, of a two person, that you can get right now. Like, this thing is so overlooked, I feel. I have some, some of my, um, some of my subscribers have mentioned they've gotten this tent. 
and that's ultimately what made me want to get this tent was because there's got to be something to it if everybody's liking it the one thing that I hate not hate but I'm scared of is when you don't have a, a completely hubbed um, pole out in the out you know when you're out and about you always have that risk of losing that one pole which sucks you never want to lose a pole so that's why I always like the hub the, um, the hub poles the hub poles uh, just make sure you don't lose your poles you know all right looks like we got an X going on so I'll place these over there now this is a little different see how this doesn't want to make an X there we go there we go over there now each of these have a garment for placement boom shakalaka and boom find the garment find the garment boom shakalaka there we go now you get your your um, brow or ridge line pole. Some people call it a brow, some people don't. They got these similar to a Jake's foot right here. Like a, a Jake foot snap in for your ball joint. So there you go. There's your brow set up. And now you're gonna want to set up your snippets down here. So there's one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve little snippets. And there you go. There's your canopy set up. Canopy done. Clear day done. The next part will be the rain fly. First and foremost, let's do a zipper test. I always do a zipper test for loudness because for two person you always have a companion so the zipper the zipper loudness is always critical for me not critical but it's important to me that the zipper is quiet that is quiet it's pretty good pretty good all right let's start with the rain fly First and foremost, you're going to want to match up the red tag right here and the red tag right here with your canopy red tags, okay? So, let's do that real quick. Red tag right here. Connected. red tag right here connected all right let's walk around to the back and connect this red one or the yellow one there and over here do the same There we go. 
rain fly secured to the base. Now all there is to do is tot the ends and stake out the vestibules, which I'll do right now. Okay, now grab a stake. Right here. I'm going to pull this out. Forty-five degree angle. Make sure it's centered. Boom. There we go. Now I walk to the back and do the same for the back. Now that all that's now that all that's tight now you go back and snug all the um, the um, grommets on the ends of the rain fly all right. snug it a little snug a little snug a little Snug a little. And that's your rain flies all um, connected and snug down and tight. Let's open it up and check out the vestibule space and the living area space. Okay, now that all of everything's tight now. Now we're ready to open the rain fly and check out the vestibule space and the livability space on the inside. Got your basic floor, um, storm flat. Got your tuck away doors. I liked how they did theirs right here. All right. You got a pretty good living um, uh, vestibule space right here. It will definitely fit your backpack. All right, let's hop in this beautiful looking tent. All right, this tent is awesome on the inside. I love the um, the tungsten tungst, tungsten color. It is bright and illuminating up in here I love it I love it I love it I love it this is quickly becoming one of my favorite tents for sure for sure now you've got your uh, illuminating or um, it's where you put your headlamp in there and it kind of casts the light evenly like a homey feeling it's got that light right here it's got your um, corner pockets here and here and as far as storage, that's all the storage provided. Now it has the um, the gear loops up here for stringing up lights or whatever kind of contraption you've got. The livability in here is huge. I can fit my whole body, no problem, in a whole nother section right there for another body, no problem. I'm telling you, this is the most spacious tent backpacking tent I've owned it's got the um, pressed fitted um, poles with the um, pre band in them which gives you maximum a maximum head um, head and feet for your feet and your head it is amazing in here it's got 2d doors which is for your partner and yourself for a vegetable to keep your backpack and stuff I give this rating a really good rating I'm telling you um, I think this is one of the largest tents for its size, honestly. Uh, now here's an extra little luxury item I stumbled upon. It's the, the Gold Zero Lighthouse Mini. This thing packs a little punch. It has a USB port for charging and being charged at the same time. The runtime is remarkable, up to five hours on high up to 500 hours on low one-sided now sold separately is a fan and a motor 
that hooks into it. Now, all three of these together is about $55. So, it's well worth it. And it's worth it. Check it out, you guys. It's a really powerful fan for situations to where it's middle day and it's raining. There you go. It's a nice little luxury item, trust me. I am feeling good with this fan. This fan um, also has a uh, magnet at the bottom and a um, one-fourth um, tripod thread at the bottom so you can um, put it on your tripod. It's um, solar panel ready so you can hook a solar panel up to it right off the gate. It's very very worth it even if you're an ultralight backpacker this little gizmo will save your life it's like i'm already cooling off inside of this tent in a, on um a near summer day like it's really good i'm so glad i made the purchase thumbs up goal zero thank you very much oh and i'm not sponsored by marmont or goal zero but wouldn't mind it <laughs> peace that about wraps it up for the Outdoor XP review slash first look slash setup. Um, if you want to find out any more about the Goal Zero um, Nomad 14 Plus Solar Pad and the Lighthouse Mini, drop it down in the comment. I'll make a full out um, review um, sl slash setup for it too. But let me know in the comments. Um, it only takes one comment and I'll make the review. And um, be ready for a Q&A for all those questions that I haven't got to round to answering. I'll make a whole video about it so I can just hit all those um, questions and answers right off the gate. Um, thank you for tuning in to the Outdoor um, XP channel. Please like and subscribe. And please, please leave comments and I will answer, to, I will answer them. I promise I will get to it. Thank you. Peace out. Thank you very much.